Welcome to How to Basic Apex. Today we're going to talk about how to join tables and the different constraints in Oracle Apex. Last video we made a table called Employee. And now we're going to make a different table and join the two. For efficiency, I already have the code of the new table. So I'm just going to insert it into the SQL command. As you can see, I already defined the primary key. This is one way to add a constraint. The other we will address later. For now, click on run. As you can see in the bottom left corner, the table is created successfully. So going back to the SQL workshop, we can click on recently created table called title. We can see that everything is created just fine. Now we're going to create a foreign key in the employee table, which is going to be connected to the title table. The first step to creating a foreign key relation is making a column which is going to serve as a foreign key. I'm naming it title ID so it's clear which table it's referring to. Next up is actually connecting the two tables. To achieve this, we'll click on constraints and check if there is a primary key on both of the tables. If this is not the case, click on create, constraint type, primary key column one and select the ID and click on apply. I already have a primary key, so I'm canceling the create. Now we know there's a primary key in both of the tables, so we can continue with connecting them. Again, click on create, constraint type and select foreign key. Double click on your foreign key, so in this case it's title ID. Click on the table you want to connect and select the primary key of that table. The default name always ends with con and the name has to be unique. So if you don't change the name and make two constraints, Apex will give you an error. I will change the name to something that's clear. So FK for foreign key and the table name. Click on apply and see your just created foreign key constraint. You can also add different constraints like unique, where it checks if there's no duplicated data in a column. And you have the constraint called check, where it checks if the value of the column is within the perimeter set in constraint expression. So for example, the employee ID has to be between 1 and 50. Now I'm going to add some data to both of the tables. Normally, this is done through the different pages in Apex, but to show you that everything works, we'll do it this way. First, we'll add data to the title table. We do it in this order because the foreign key in employee has to refer to a data row. As you can see, the ID is 1. Next up, we'll add data to the employee table. In the column title ID, we will insert the ID of the row we just created. So that's one. To see the results, let's make a join statement. As you can see, the foreign key works just fine. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. We also have other instruction videos like this one on our channel, How to Basic Apex. So subscribe to stay updated and like this video if it was helpful.